Well, friends, here's my stakeout this evening. New beaver house, a new push pole. It's a goose nesting on top of the house. Just ducked real low. Didn't fly away. Not sure if you can see it or not. Anyways, I'm going to wait out here for a little longer, see if any beaver come out. Stay tuned. Well, we got one, my friends. <clears throat> he came and checked me out once. Made a bigger loop and slapped his tail, and then he come around again. I was just sitting back there. There's the house, and um, this time when he made the loop, he cut through these willows here and come in on the inside, and then he started swimming away, and I was able to get him. I got my homemade catch pole here on him. I made it out of a piece of bamboo and cable. <coughs> So, let's get him into the boat and we'll take a look at him. What a tank, guys. I believe this is the biggest one I've got yet this year. He is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Look at the tail on him. That is one big, big beaver. Well, I guess I got some skinning to do. Looks like I took him right behind the ear. What a hog. That is one slob of a beaver. All right, well, I gotta push my way back around there. Excellent. Talk to you later, folks. Well, folks, I guess that's it for my beaver season for the year. Um, I got too many other things to do. I got to haul cattle out. I got to start doing field work. Um, just too many things to do. But um, I'd like to thank Cody and Kelsey Robbins from Live to Hunt for buying all my beaver carcasses this year. And I'd sure like to thank you all for watching. And the good Lord willing, we'll see you down the trail.